Hello YouTube RJ. Hey, we're back for a really short follow-up video to my auto transformer unboxing. Had a great comment from at T1D100 and let me read what he said. Not to be a bummer, but the Asian models from the typical online marketplace are known to have various issues. Improperly wired, fuse on the wrong leg, incorrect grounding, and etc. Undersized wires, overstated watts and amps, on and on. So I recommend that you research a particular model, the Asian mo models in general, and open inspect yours very carefully. It's a piece of safety equipment. It should not be dangerous itself. Hope you got a good one. Well, thank you for the input. Um, I took your advice. I've opened mine up. Take a look and see if there was uh, anything. I did check the reviews before purchasing, and I bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video and, and in the reply I send back to you. It had really good reviews. Everybody seemed to be very happy with it. I have, there was one person complaining that the switch was bad on it, which you can get a bad unit with anything, you know that. I went ahead and decided that that's a good idea. If, if there's a possibility there's something wired improperly, let's take a look and see how this thing's put together. What you've got here is, I've opened it up. Obviously it's disconnected. You can see there's an enormous toroid transformer in here. And it's rated for 20 amps. I don't feel, feel the wire, wiring is, is undersized. The UL plug coming in is the same gauge wire as running to everything else. So if the UL plug can handle uh, 20 amps, then this cabling can handle 20 amps. Looking at it, the build's not too bad. Solder's joints maybe could be a little better, but they're using uh, unleaded solder, I'm sure, and we know that those don't make the prettiest solder joints. The small lead you see here is for the meter, so not, not a current carrying lead. That's one thing off the box that he was concerned about. What else was he concerned about? Well, he was concerned the fuse was hooked up incorrectly. Well, let's do this. He was concerned about the grounding. Let's take a look at the grounding. First thing I want to know is I'm going to have to put the fuse back in. You'll see why I had the fuse out in a minute. Okay, fuse back in. Make sure everything's hooked back up. Let's find out if the grounding lug on our plug makes it to the case. Yes, it does. So we're grounded to the case. That's good. We know that. Let's see if the grounding lug here matches up to the grounding lugs on, on the outputs. They do. So it does pass the ground through properly. So I've got, I've got the ground lug safety to the case and passed on to the external item. So in my opinion, the grounding is fine. I don't, there, I don't know what else I would check for the grounding. That's, that's all you should expect. So that should be fine. Now, what I'd like to know is the fuse. What side of the power is the fuse on? Well, one of the problems with that is, of course, the primary is gonna to go to the winding, and so it's gonna short both legs. So we have to pull the fuse to disable that. So now that we've got that done, what we can do is we can go in here and we look, you can see the cord brings the power in. And one of the legs comes over to the fuse. Now we don't know which leg that is. This, this gray could be, could be anything. Let's just find out what we got. It makes it to that lug. Let's see if we can get over on this other lug. It doesn't make it to that lug, makes it to this lug. Now which lug is that of the plug? Is that the hot, which would be proper? Well, if you look at how it plugs into a wall, you'll see that this is the smaller plug on your wall. This is your hot leg. So the hot leg goes through the fuse and that's what I would expect. I would expect the hot to be the fused leg. So I would say it's on the correct leg. It's on the primary side. Now there's some arguments. Some people will come, no, this should be on the secondary. You want to protect the secondary. Well, follow this logic out and you'll realize that this is in the right place. Your power comes into this unit. It goes through a fuse passes through a switch onto a transformer. That energizes the primary coil. Well, the only way I can get 30 amps through this connector from that transformer is to pull the equivalent amount of power from the other side. If I'm pulling 30 here, I've got to pull at least 30 here, a little bit more actually. There's no way to pull too much current on this side and not pop this fuse. So you're, you're, you're protecting the whole circuit your items that are plugged in and such. What's on the other end of this plug when I plug it in the wall? A circuit breaker. Remember, your circuit breaker in your house is not designed to protect items, it's to protect the wiring. You can't pull more than your circuit breaker through here without popping a circuit breaker. So if we had a short in the primary, 
the fuse here is going to pop if you pull current from here through the transformer. So you're protecting this wire with your circuit breaker in your house. You're protecting the primary on this transformer right here on this fuse. You're also protecting the secondary because if the secondary shorts, you're going to pull current and pop this fuse. Secondary can't get power unless it pulls it from the primary. If the primary is protected, the secondary is protected. Looking it over, I have no problems with it. I think everything's wired up correctly. Looks good to me. Looks like it can handle the 20 amps without a problem. The transformer definitely looks like it's heavy enough to handle 20 amps. So, you know, is it a high dollar, super high end transformer? Probably not. Uh, is it going to work for me? Absolutely. So, hey, I want to, again, thank at T1D100 for his input. It was good input. Who knows what these wacky Chinese are doing? Sometimes they wire up things wrong. Sometimes they do things that uh, don't make sense. And, and maybe this thing would have been unsafe. And so, you know, he's made me take an extra little step and take a look in here. And, and now I know what's going on. I know that we're in good shape. So thanks a lot again for the input. Hopefully that straightens some things out. And uh, if anybody sees anything I've got wrong, please feel free to let me know. I love to get comments and uh, interact with my viewers. Thanks a lot. Have a great one. Hope to see you in the next video.